right. I think we are live, Colleen. Woo-hoo. Yes, I Here. love being live on Facebook. <laughs> oh, well, if you are watching this on another platform, in case we've shared, oh, um, we, yeah. let's not limit it to just Facebook. Okay. I want to tell the world. Yeah. Like, we want, oh, and now I've got it playing on my thing, so. <laughs> well, that's I okay. I think, I think I no matter what platform we use, I think it's just important that uh, each person has that, if we're talking about outreach, right? And we're talking about how you get seen and we're talking about how you network and how you get visible, you need to find the platforms that work for you the best. I know you talk about this all the time, Katrina, so do I. I have in one of my businesses, we do not have a Facebook account. We do not have a LinkedIn account. We purely focus on Instagram. All of our sales, all of our bookings come from Instagram, right? So- I do think it's important that you need to focus where your customers are. Yeah. Some people just use YouTube and that's it. Mm-hmm. Everything they do is through YouTube. That's their channel that they send everybody to. So um, where are you getting that visibility and where are the people that you find? You know, I love LinkedIn and Facebook are probably my two strongest uh, platforms. Strongest. What are yours? Yeah, yeah? those Same? are my favorite. I really love hanging out on Facebook and then, and then every once in a while, I think, oh, I forgot to post something on LinkedIn. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, but my assistant, so I have an assistant who actually does a lot of the posting. Um, we get together about once a week and we plan out what to post and what to put on the blog and what to put yeah. in the LinkedIn newsletters and all that. Um, what the strategy is based on what's coming up, what events and all that kind of thing. And then she goes and does the stuff, right? Which, And then I do a lot of in-between stuff, especially now with a week prior to the live event that you're speaking at with me. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of little guerrilla marketing, I would say, that's being done, like inviting people by text or by private message or you know, yeah. going into groups and things like that, that you just can't delegate. I mean, you can't right. delegate that level of engagement and connection and relationship building, frankly. I was reaching out to people that I hadn't even talked to in probably seven or eight years that I found and ran across on on Facebook and said, oh my God, what is she up to? And I would look at her profile and all that. Yeah. Um, but well, let's talk the, about that Yeah, because you do have a live mm-hmm. event in California, Northern California, right? Yep. So- yep. It's next week. We're like seven days out. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I know there's people, every time I'm reaching out to people, like one out of 10 people said, I looked at that and I was thinking about coming and I'm just waiting for X, Y, Z. And I'm like, ah, like you need to get yeah. registered because I'm, I'm talking to the printer right now. Like, when do I have to get the workbooks in? Yeah. We're, we're, the workbooks are like 88 pages right now. So <laughs> it's like a, it's like a workshop, you guys, this is not just yeah. a, come and hear some speakers. So it's so business reimagined. Yeah. Why don't you tell them really quick, a little bit about like, give a synopsis of the two days yeah. that they're going to be there on Tuesday and Wednesday next week. What mm-hmm. are they going to learn in the workshop? The whole goal is to reimagine what you want your life to look like. And re- every year you should be doing this because yeah. things have changed. A lot of people want to work more behind the scenes. Some people don't want to go live in anywhere and they want to do more online. So people want to get off online and go in person again. And we just have to reimagine and constantly be reimagining and tweaking and creating and strategizing on how we're going to evolve the business every year. So that's what this is about. All the speakers are talking about the really important, pertinent topics that all entrepreneurs need to know about marketing, branding, sales, uh, local marketing, online marketing, in person, I mean, doing events, speaking to grow your business, uh, visibility, referral partners, uh, backend technology. I mean, we're covering all of that and so much more. And it's not just like, come listen to speakers. We're going to have interactive exercises. I've already got them all planned out. And, you know, I, I bring in great quality speakers like you, uh, who give tons of valuable content. Yeah. I, you just want to change your plans and get there. That's really the key. You know, here's the thing. It is so important to build relationships. I was just talking to a client before we went on here to do the video. 
And then the, she was complaining or, you know, being frustrated, I would say mainly being frustrated about, you know, gosh, it's just not easy to get somebody into my program. And I said, you're at the beginning stages of launching a business in this niche. It's all about being seen, being heard, being visible, building, trusting relationships. That's why when I get to your event and go on stage, I'm going to talk a lot about social capital, which I don't think a lot of us are talking about, which is, are you constructing the people in your circle that are not just building you up, right? We don't want them breaking you down, but more, more importantly, are they those people that can provide opportunities for you? Are they opening doors for you? Are they introducing you to other people? Are they referring individuals to you? So these are crucial pieces of how we should be networking and putting those people in our circle. It is so important that we have those individuals there. If we don't, it is so much harder to build a business because you're always in the hustle. It is. Hustling yeah. is no fun. I know. No. I've been a little hustling in the last week or so. Because, but that's normal. You know, when you throw when an you event, an it is your responsibility to personally invite people that have maybe just not seen it. Like, what? I didn't know you were having an event. For some reason, their algorithm got kicked. They didn't see you on Facebook. They didn't catch your YouTube video. They weren't talking to that friend that was going. I, I This happens in all my events, and you know that. Like, you've got to personally reach out and share it, like, everywhere, even including a plane that has a flag on the back of it that says, I have an event coming up <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be everywhere. You are yeah. going to laugh. I have seven networking events uh, between now and Friday this week. Just this week. I believe it. Uh, like online and offline people that could potentially attend. And I am just work. I mean, I've been working it crazy, but uh, why you should come is because the networking number one, the amazing content to hone your skills yeah. and the interactive exercises to get you thinking bigger, playing bigger, building up your confidence, uh, going for creating new things and higher end programs perhaps, or raising your money goal. Or, I mean, one gal is talking about shattering your income ceiling. We're going to be talking about attitude and mindset and habits. I mean, here's the number one reason why I attend conferences and it never is about the content and I know this is crazy. It's never about the content. It's about the people. Yeah. I attend in-person conferences because I always walk in a room and don't know everybody who's there. Yeah. So I love it that I get to get exposed to all these new people, even if I'm not a speaker and I'm just an attendee, I'm exposed to all these new people I've never met. And I not only walk away with more education, like you're talking about, but I walk away with now knowing more people and connecting with more people that were never going to be in my sphere before that. To me, yeah. that's one of the easiest ways. So you don't have to go to seven different networking events that you're doing. You go to the one, you just come to <laughs> Katrina's event and then all of those people are going to be there. So so now you're going to meet all of those people because Katrina's already done all the work to bring all those people into the room. You don't have to go do that. So thank you, Katrina, yeah. for doing that for me. <laughs> you're welcome. And yes, you're right. Because there are people flying in for this event. I mean, there's people coming in from all over. So even yeah. if the person's local watching this, I mean, you're going to meet so many different people that you don't, will never meet, right? Yeah. And you're so right. So getting visibility, at events. I mean, these are, this is why I go to probably six to nine events a year like this myself. Yeah. I travel to go, whether yeah. I'm speaking or attending or exhibiting. Um, I do the same thing because those are the people that are going to yeah. move the needle and it gives you a great um, pool of people, I would say, to collaborate with, to connect with, that might be prospects for yeah. you. So, Oh, I should share a story really quick. It'll take 30 seconds. Last May, I flew to Indiana to go to a Christian-based conference because I wanted to do more Christian-based conferences. I was asked to speak and I was able to stay there. It was a half Airbnb, half event center. And it was like, oh my gosh, everything just lined up so perfectly. And I'm like, I, everyone said, why are you going there? I'm like, I don't know. I just feel like I should go. I don't know anybody. I'm just coming in out of town. I was the only one out of town. Everybody else lived in Indiana. I was there Monday through Friday. Wow. Do you know, in December, one of the ladies I met there actually hired me 
to start working with her because she's building a new phase of her photography business. And she said, you were the one I connected with the most that week. And so I want to hire you. It wow. took almost like what, how many months, eight months. Eight months yeah. I got a prospect and someone hired me to work with them just because I was present that week. I got to become friends with a lot of those ladies. We still email back and forth. I follow them on social media. I'm still connected with them. You never know what can happen. So that one trip yielded me thousands of dollars and I wasn't even expecting it. I just was open to the possibility that I'm going to meet all these new people. And they just thought it was like, you actually flew here from Arizona. I'm like, yeah, why not? I don't think any of them in the room would have, but I was opened up to more podcast opportunities, more speaking opportunities. I've been paid to speak since then in their group. So you never know what can happen. It's the unknown. You've just got to be in the room. You've got yeah. to be in the room. I agree. Yeah. Well, let's get them in the room. So yeah. if you're watching this, please go to jumpstartevents.net right now, get your ticket and if for some reason you can't change your schedule and you can't attend both days, private message me or email me because I will give you a one day ticket price. Okay. So, but you have to reach out and you have to want it. And either day is going to be good. They're both going to be really great. You want to attend both. If you can clear your schedule, I'm sure your clients will move saying, I have to get this thing, attend this thing. Uh, they will move if you ask. If you ask, people to reschedule whatever you got going on next week. Cause I know it's last oh, minute when we're sick, we reschedule. I know did that so last this, Monday. Is, this is important time to take for you and the growth of your business. And it doesn't happen very often. I'm going to do this yeah. annually, but you got to wait till next January. There's not a lot of events like this, especially locally. So if you're local, yeah. you're going to miss out big time and you're going to have FOMO if you miss us. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm going. <laughs> right? So jumpstartevents.net. You'll find the Business Reimagine Conference right there on that page. Just click and get signed up and we will see you there. See you there. Uh -uh.